Hey Factionistas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about Suicide Squad's Joker. For this video I partnered with Spirit Halloween which you guys already know is your one stop shop for all things October. Everything that I use in this makeup tutorial is provided by and can be found within Spirit Halloween and I will have links as well as a coupon code down in the description box for your consideration but without further ado let's get started. Step one is doing the hair. So essentially what I did is I just threw in some hair gel into my hair, combed it back while it was wet and let it air dry and that's going to give you that slicked back Jared Little look. So I'm using this Suicide Squad makeup kit from Spirit Halloween which has everything you would ever need to create the perfect joker. I'm starting off with the green hair dye and I'm just going to apply that to the back of my hand and with a brush begin slowly applying that to my hair. In small strokes, I just kept reapplying. You definitely want to layer this if you have black hair. If you have lighter hair, you'll have a lot easier time. But since my hair is darkest of the dark, I found it easiest to tap in a little bit of the product straight onto my hair so I don't lose any product within the brush and then just gently brush that in and continue to layer it until you get the desired effect that you're looking for. Now let's cover them brows. So I'm taking glue stick and I'm going to begin brushing or applying this glue stick to my eyebrows in the direction that they naturally grow. The essential goal of this is to cement them as flat as possible to your skin using a non-toxic washable glue stick. Once that's good and flat, ooh la la, you're going to take a nice loose and translucent setting powder and you're going to press that into the glue so the glue no longer moves and stays put and keeps your eyebrows nice and flat. Once you reach this level, you just want to take a foundation or a full coverage concealer and apply that to the brow area, making sure to fill in all the gaps and spaces. Set that one last time with powder and boom, no eyebrows. Now onto the face, using white grease makeup also from Spirit Halloween. I'm using this with a stippling brush, but feel free to use your hands, anything works. You really just want to apply this to the face to blank it out and get a nice alabaster feel. It isn't quite a stark paper white, but it is very, very, very pale, so definitely get it popping until you're real good and ghostly. Yay! Okay, so let's move on to eyes. I'm using the little spongy thing that comes with the makeup kit and this dark red, and I'm going to layer that on my eye first. And now it comes off a little bit pink, it's a little bit sheer, but I'm not just using it because I want that exact color to be on my lid, I want the warmth from this product to show through after we apply the black on top of this and it'll make a nice purple tone which I think is really appropriate for the Joker. So I'm applying this red to my mobile eyelid and then I'm using a blending brush to just blend it up all the way up to my brows and bringing it right into the inner corner and the outer corner and underneath my eye. And then now that we have this nice warmth, you know, base to it, we can go in now with black and we're gonna add that to the mobile eyelid again and we're gonna blend it up in the same way. So this is a Joker look. This is not a smoky eye. This is not a model-esque makeup. So it doesn't have to be clean. So when you're blending, just do it in very erratic and very grungy motions because you're trying to become the Joker and it doesn't really need to be glam beauty. You know, it, it, it doesn't need to be soft and focused and very blurred. So it's, you know, get very grungy with it, which is another reason why this makeup is so fun because you don't have to be a master makeup artist. Following the same steps here, I'm bringing it from the mobile eyelid down to the lower half of the eye. And you definitely want to blend this down quite low, not too, too low, but you want to do it a little bit low. And then right in the inner corners of the eye, really drag that in now towards kind of really scrunch it up and smear it down. To further mimic Jared Leto's bone structure, you want to go in with a little bit of a gray eyeshadow and apply that to the hollow points of the cheekbone and the mouth, your temple and your forehead to really just add depth with a white pale face. It could look just a teensy bit flat, so add a little bit of dimension using an eyeshadow. Grabbing now the black eyeliner that comes in the makeup kit, I'm just going to add a little bit of a J to my left cheekbone, making sure that when you do this in a mirror, make sure you're drawing this J backwards so the world will see it forwards. So adding just a very tiny, tiny line of a very simple J, and then now I'm going to go in and kind of tweak it and add a little bit of an extra, thicken up the lines, add a little bit of those corners, because it's a very, it's a very like graffiti-esque J. It's not like a simple, you know, traditional fifth grade J. You know what I'm saying? The Suicide Squad makeup kit from Spirit Halloween does come with temporary tattoos, which is fantastic for the damage on the forehead. So we're going to cut that out and we're going to apply it to our forehead with a wet paper towel. Being careful since this is wet, we don't want to wipe off any of the makeup that we've done. But this is actually really great because, you know, it is, it is incredibly difficult to draw cursive in general and then to draw cursive on your forehead in damage in a mirror backwards can be a little bit challenging for even the most talented makeup artist so having this uh having this tattoo is really great and when you peel it off boom perfect now we're going in with the dark red lipstick that comes in the suicide squad spirit halloween makeup kit 
and we're just gonna you know really just throw that on the mouth if you're a guy and you've never worn lipstick before do not fear this is a very grungy look it's very smeared and blown out so you don't have to worry worry about precision or anything like that so right now we're really focusing on just getting the product onto the lip and then we're gonna go in with a brush and help blend that out this brush comes in the makeup kit as well too so it's you know you don't need anything too extra so really just smudge it out and make it as grungy as you want to all right so chest and body time so i applied already applied the uh white cream paint to pale out my entire body and i'm taking just a little bit of gray eyeshadow and i'm going to start contouring my cheekbones and stuff this is this personally for me because again jared leto's body is like super skinny super defined super boned up and if you're not that person just contour a little bit so i'm just adding a little bit of dimension using shadows Spirit Halloween also has this set of body tattoos, which is just so great because you could just apply that's every tattoo he has on his body. So you can just apply them right on top and just take them. And, you know, we were all five years old once. So you guys know the drill. Just apply these body tattoos everywhere Jared has it on the placement. So but a little bit of a reference. The clown is on the opposite side of the J on his face. And then the ha ha ha's is on the same side of the J. That's a little bit of a reference that I did notice in the final Jared Little makeup that might help you guys out along when you guys are creating this yourself. Topping it all off with a little bit of a chest contour. Yes, pectorals. And now the final finishing touch, which is this purple Jared Little Joker jacket, which is also came from Spirit Halloween. Really just tops it off and really completes the clean Joker look. I really do like the, the Joker. It's very nice and has like, you know, cool texture. But now we're going to go into a little bit of a grungy texture, which really is a little bit more my style. So I unfortunately haven't seen the movie yet, but I found this image on the internet. I don't even know if this is like a fan edit or what this may be, but I really do love it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to throw that on. So taking a little bit of a brush, you can use your hands, use whatever. Just go in with that cream paint that comes in that Suicide Joker makeup kit and really just apply it all over the face and body in a really sporadic and grungy way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It is pretty much like make him look like he just smacked his face in the dirt and really just to get it really torn up and distressed. And I think it really adds to the look and gets a really really cool Halloween appropriate grungy vibe but that concludes this Jared Leto Joker tutorial I really hope that you guys like it check the description box on how you can get all the stuff that I used and at a discounted price which is fantastic subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next video all right bye friends